Hey everybody, Joshua Hanlon here at Brick Fair, Virginia. Matthew Kay and George Barnick have joined me for the Brickopedia and Beyond the Brick Christmas of Creation build contest. So Matthew has the set here. What is this? So uh, the LEGO community team was kind enough to send both uh, Beyond the Brick, Brickopedia, and several other AFL fan sites and AFL clubs around the world uh, numerous copies of these lovely winter sets. And so we have taken it upon ourselves to have a little bit of a building contest here at Brick Fair, Virginia. So what we've done is we've handed out several sets to all of the people behind us and uh, they're just going to do like a combo build. They're going to take all three sets, put them together, do something crazy, and then we're going to have them judge each other. I was going to uh, build something cool, and then after an hour, we're going to judge uh, to see who has the best creation. Everyone's going to kind of collectively determine that. So two free sets, that's all you need to know. I think it's going to be some kind of spaceship with a landing pad. I'm building a landing pad now. So well, we got three. We get a mix of. It might be a little. Well, you guys are done, so. Hey, don't be dropping these. I don't know. That's not cool. Wait a minute. This is really proving to be an interesting challenge because the parts are just so specific to wintry builds. You have white, you have certain colors of trans clear. So, uh, you know, we don't really have any clear leaders at this point. We're a little bit early in the game right now. But as we continue on, I'm sure some people will definitely kind of pull out ahead. But then again, we will not be determining the winners. The players of the game will be determining the winners. So that's really, I think, the best thing about this game. Collective uh, decision making is a beautiful thing. The blue color is really great as well. The original design has changed a little bit. No, that's, that's natural. In a weird, unexpected twist, they have just turned the lights off in the entire building for World of Lights, and there's 15 minutes still left in our build contest. So now there's the extra hard feature of having to finish your build in the dark if you weren't done yet. We'll see how they cope with it. How do you like the challenge of the lights turning off? Uh, it, it's certainly challenging. Uh, it's, it's making it harder. <laughs> it wasn't really what I was looking for. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, you know, I'm just building something with the bricks and doing the stuff, you know, with the thing. Um. Better than the last time you checked in, let me but still kind of feeling my way. And even more so now that it's dark, and more so than I dropped pieces. I think everyone else is finished except this table. 7 15. 7 15. The minute it starts, what? Yeah, it's okay, we're gonna end it here. Yep. Okay, so let's, let's make it look like the game. So the, it is now 10 15, which is the end mark of the contest. Time has run out. We're going to be letting everyone know here. Matthew, let them know it's ended. We will be directing them that the game is now over. All right, guys. 10 15, that's it. So everyone clear a little bit of a space around your creation and we will all get up and I will give you all a little voting uh, tile and you will place that uh, at the creation of your choice. This one is the Guardian of Forever from the Star Trek episode, I think it's called nice. The City on the Edge of Tomorrow. You did 
It's a snow speeder. It's made out of okay. snow. Nice and loud. It's a snow speeder. Here, I actually need that. Hang on. Can you do that again? <laughs> I, my camera's like doesn't have enough uh, light. So. I can't. Um, so these else. two kids is playing with this other random kid at the pond. They're, it hasn't frozen over yet, so they couldn't ice skate. But it turns out this kid is actually an alien disguise. This one has snowballs. This one, though this one has snowballs, and this girl has her ice skates on sticks. So it may have been a bad choice of humans to attack. And you have this UFO here with little ice skates, with little detailing on the undercarriage of the ship. Everyone is taking a two by two trial and placing it by their favorite creation. The only rule is that they do not place it by their own creation. So everyone check, everyone check. Certain, certain people are gaming the system and uh, trading their vote with other people so that their creations are guaranteed to get some votes. It was not designed to be played that way. Because I'm totally ready to trade votes with someone. So I don't get no votes. <laughs> Everyone, uh, great time. Yes. The children will be safe from the tyranny of frosty You know, I was kind of worried about you. Now that you've won that beautiful sealed box of the set you just built, three of, yes. what do you plan to do with six more of them? I'm gonna make the answer even, is not sell them. Yeah, right, no. I'm going to make an even bigger snowman so all the children can be happy because, you know, Frosty, of course, melts. And so this will be the snowman that stays around year-round. So. That, that's that's beautiful. Yeah. And I, 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 Would you agree that this is a wonderful situation? It is, indeed. It is. Excellent. Legos are awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, CE team, for sending all of these wonderful sets. And uh, thanks to the April community for getting together and building all these magnificent creations. Larry, how many votes did you end up with? One. The one that I bought. <laughs> that's, that's all I needed. I just, I wasn't out to win. Just it was playing not to lose. So I did it. And now I got free parts. Seems like a good deal. It's, it's probably worth keeping. Maybe not. <laughs>